Hey guys, welcome to another design video. Today we are going to go over shape optimization. It is a simulation package inside of Autodesk Fusion 360 and it allows you to take a shape. This started out as just a normal block without these holes. And what we did was we used the software to chart the load profile through our part. And then we were able to remove all the excess material that wasn't actually supporting anything. So what we produced is a lighter, stronger, and better looking part. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this and hopefully you can use it in your designs. It doesn't require any math. It's just a few clicks and uh, you're good to go. So we'll jump back here onto the computer and uh, we'll get into it. The whole point of this bracket is uh, I raised my monitor up with very similar looking brackets and they were too tall. So I thought if I was gonna make another smaller bracket, I might as well shoot the video for the shape optimization and uh, throw it out to you guys. So let's get into it. All right, we're in the Fusion 360 model space here. So, and my computer stops lagging. We're just gonna draw up a quick bracket. Something like that should be fine. And we're also gonna change our units to inches because millimeters don't work for me. All right, let's do this. So to find our height and our width, and now we just need to make these two lines parallel. And there we go. That's kind of the shape we're looking for. So we'll extrude this. Hopefully, there we go. Three quarters of an inch. Not sure why my computer's lagging so bad. We'll figure it out. So in here, we can go into the simulation workspace. And from there, what we want to select is a shape optimization and create study. So in here, we can define a material, which we'll just make as plastic for now. And we can define a constraint. Our constraints for this are very simple. We will just fix the bottom and then apply load to the top. So structural load, this plane, change the units to pounds and 20 pounds. Perfect, we've got the check mark on our pre-check so we can solve this thing. Usually it takes a couple minutes so I will see you guys on the other side of this study. Okay. So our shape optimization is complete and here is the load path through our part. We could play around with mesh settings over here and we would get different paths. This one looks pretty good for me and pretty easy to draft around. We can change the criticality and kind of decide what shape we think looks best. It's not going to tell us how strong the part is. It's just going to tell us where the path is. If you want to know how strong your part is, you need to do a finite element analysis. So from here to draft around it, we want to go results and promote. And then we want to add the mesh to our model workspace. And now you can see that we've got our body and our mesh. So to draft around it, you just select a plane Go create sketch, project that plane, and then what I like to do is hide the body. And from here, we can just sketch around the mesh and add our fillets and extrude out the material we don't want, and then add whatever connections we need for our bracket. So I'm gonna speed all that up and uh, we'll look at the part when I'm done.
Cool. So, here's our finished bracket. I think it's gonna suit our needs just fine. So you can see that we had a pretty simple part and just through some simple simulations and stuff that's provided in the free software, we were able to figure out an optimal design for our situation. And uh, now we can print it and we've got this cool bracket. So let's do that and um, we'll wrap this up, I think. All right. We're all done here. This was a five hour print at 25% infill. Got a little string hanging off of it. And uh, yeah, it seems rock solid. It'll definitely do what we need it to do. I'd actually be curious how much weight we could load on this thing. So maybe in another video, we'll see how strong this guy is. For now though, we're gonna mount it back here and hopefully it lowers my computer monitor like we wanted. Uh, hopefully you guys were able to learn something from the shape optimization and fusion there. I've been having a ton of fun just making creative shapes, you know, like this. And uh, knowing that they're strong. So until next time, happy designing. See you next video.